Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 61 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about the heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So there you can see we have two teapots, right? One is a ceramic, one is a shining one. And it gives us the immensity for each one. And also for this teapot, only the materials is different. So the volumes is given same V. We write it there, and the temperature is given. So we convert the unit to kilowatts. We write it there. And also tell us the surrounding temperature is 20 centigrade. So we will write it as T2, agree? So convert it unit in Kelvin. Now ask you find the right of the heat loss from each other. You can see as we know the this uh, teapot, the temperature is higher than the surroundings, right? So the heat or energy will flow from this uh, teapot to the surroundings. There is a heat loss, right? Now how to find the right of the heat loss? This is comes to Stephen Bolt's main equation. You can check her textbook, get it there. And in this equation, you can see epsilon is the immensity it is given. And the phi is a constant, A is a surface, T1, T2 is given. So it looks like we need to find the A surface for the T port. There we consider the T port as a sphere. So obviously, its surface is a 4 pi r squared. Do you agree? 4 pi r squared. Looks like we need to find the radius first. So how can we get the radius? See, the volume is given V. So we can use this function to get the r. Then we write the r in the function, this term. Agree? And then we can see we input the surface in the Stephen Bohr's main equation. It looks like this one. In this equation, you can see all the quantity are given. T1, T2 is given. V is given. Epsilon is given. Phi is given. So since it becomes easy. If this is a ceramic one, so the epsilon is given as 0 0.7. So we input the, all the given quantity inside, get the answer there. If this is a shining teapot, the epsilon is given as 0 0.1. So we input all the given quantities, get the answer there. The next one asks you to find the temperature drop after 30 minutes for each. So now we need to find the temperature drop. So we just find the heat loss. Is there any equation to connect the heat with the temperature? Yes, this is a V-nerd at the very beginning, right? Delta Q equal to C M delta T. Do you agree? Yeah. So delta Q equal to C M delta T. So you can see this one connected the delta Q, the heat loss with the temperature change. Agree. Okay, so this there is ask you the temperature drop. This is temperature change. So now we can see how can we do that? The thing is we need to find the temperature change. So we write delta T as delta Q divided by C M. Next question. Do you know how much heat loss? No. But what we know, we know the right for the heat loss. So we have a small trick. You can divide delta T and then times delta t, right, in this equation. So this equals, do you agree? Yes. Now, when you look at the delta q over delta t, what is that? The right of the heat loss. This is we just get, agree? So for ceramic teapot, it is a 14 watt. And for shining teapot, it is 2 watt. The next question, do you know the delta t? Because this term is given. Do you know the dirty? Yes, 30 minutes. So we can convert the unit to seconds. Next one, C is a constant, agree? And M is a mass for this waters, mass for the waters. And it tell you the volumes is given, the volumes is given, so very easily you can get its mass as this one. Now you input all these uh, given quantities for ceramic teapot. So for ceramic teapot, you 1 over cm, c is a constant, m is a, uh, given at 0, and the delta over delta t, this is a 14 watt, and delta t is a 1,800 seconds, so you get the answer there. Similarly, you can do that for shining teapot. Thank you.